Hey gents and ladies, it's day 180. Yeah, we're into a whole new like set of tens. We're just going along, my friends. Poetry, poetry, poetry in motion. Today is a really special day. It's a fashion day. And I know what you're thinking. You do not look very fashionable yet. But don't you worry, don't you fret my pets. I have all the fashion I need in this satchel. And I uh, came with some dear friends who are helping me. I'm so lucky. I have the coolest friends you could ever, 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 ever find. I'm sorry, don't be jealous, it's just true. And we sought out on a mission, the most fashionable statue at the famous, world famous, facts, world famous sculpture park in Loveland. The sculptures here are known round the globe to hold art power. And this one is just so fashionable. Look at these ladies. It's called Happy Dance. <laughs> and they're just like taking a chance with the world. They're out on a lady date, like loving it, showing off their fashionable selves. So we are gonna delve right in. So, cause my friends are hot in the sun and whew, oh no, so am I. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, hot in so many ways. Love, love, love everybody. So. It is a national outfit of the day. Day, today. So I'm gonna say what I gotta say. This one is called, This is the one. Oh wait, I mean, yeah. Keep on this page for now. <laughs> Put it on the first jacket now. <laughs> Today's poem is called, This is the one. Here I come, fun. National OOTD, outfit of the day day. I do like the double use of day. And I must say that, that, that is a party parade, magnificent masquerade, all day escapade, sachet, oh baby, releve, proudly display, thy wily wild and outweighs. Not a whole lot of gray in this costume case. Bring a pair of pom-poms just in case. <laughs> uh face all face all be dazzled what oh face all be dazzled straight out of chicago razzle jazzled give them the old hold my fizzy drink so i can sink my teeth into this runway it's a one-way ticket to fabulous town some mornings my baggy boy shorts call to me some days it's a full-blown princess gown that's right i alluded to the fact that I get found by my clothes, not the other way around. I open my eyes or come home midday to change and say, hey closet, what's going down? Am I like a 70s brown and burnt orange adorned with peace signs and a hep cat where it's at? <laughs> hep cat, where it's at? Penny loafers. <laughs> Hep cat, where it's at? Penny loafers. Or am I feeling more like a gopher hiding underground wearing those real ward, worn down, well-loved cotton paper thin t-shirts that will never be forgotten with loose baggy sweatpants that I living room danced in a thousand times? Or dear fates of fashion, am I today destined to be futuristic rocket blasting with a 90s twist, some hip-hugging reflective pants, and an alien silver shirt that indicates a character who walks with a slight space-age slant. By any chance, am I supposed to enhance my nude form with an animal print turtleneck leotard and some far-out puffy pink fawfur Spice Girl shoes so deep in the groove that you can practically hear them purr? But I'm not sure, almighty closet, you're the one who shall deposit the knowledge of whom I'm supposed to be this day. A 1950s Mary Kay pink pencil skirt flirt? A 1960s maiden with flowers in her braids, hurt and afraid by the lack of peace in the world, but still hopeful? Still hopeful. <laughs> and twirling in a fanning out indigo child skirt some punk rock cut off sleeves that let everyone on the street believe I'd bring the herd if I needed to, huh? A powder blue 70s car hop cutie with those shorts that are just short enough to show your booty. Perhaps today, a 1980, 
A 1980s hotter than Hades crazy to boot batik pattern with a smattering of oh, excuse me, you go ahead. Batik pattern with a smattering of mall kid and super nerd only noticed if observed. Should I be a gypsy who makes sure you see the curves as they swerve and snake patterns down the street, greeting those who pass by with bejeweled gypsy eyes, with a string of bells tied mysteriously upon my upper thigh to make an incantation every time I walk by? Some thigh-high Bond girl boots, but in a world where none of them need Bond to rule the world and take the loot in his lair, take over? and leave no doubt, ladies hold it down. Little round cutouts on my skin tight spy girl dress? Or am I more in the mood for some Sunday best? Great big, great big sun hat with ribbons billowing, ribbons billowing, a floral dress fit for a weeping willow tree swing, some late 80s gem sweater bling, steampunk circus ringleader, theater director wearing all black with highly impactful emotional artisan accents pinned on meticulously to viscerally affect your senses, perhaps a run-on sentence of personalities where I'm part pageantry, part middle finger up, a heaping cup of bigger than life, a nice slice of both naughty and nice. Some, <laughs> wait, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> naughty and nice. Some jewelry cherries on top that look like I just pulled off a jewel heist. Always competing with dudes. That looks like I just pulled off a jewel heist. Just the right amount of jester, a lesser helping, but still a nod to oddball. <laughs> My cue card girl's picking up her pup. <laughs> it's the right amount of gesture, a lesser helping, but still a nod to oddball, ne'er do well, and a swelling crescendo finish of an almost perfect measurement of a flowy fabric with which, with, with which to hip swish. That's a hard one. You try it. With 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 which to hip swish. I tell ya. <laughs> I tell you, whether you're, whether kitsch or niche or switching it up in a way no one would suspect, I don't choose what's cool or trending. I plan on ending that word. I reflect what I am with what flows through me, with what those who really, with those who really know me could, could only call with what those who only know me could only call teleology. <laughs> teleology, this ever shifting, growing, sometimes knowing more, oft knowing less, good, bad, better, best sense of me has always been most definitively carved out by a connectivity to my fashion, passion, selectivity. But I tell you, I don't choose these garments, they choose me. They ask to be seen. I. A hue myself of the blue-green variety also appreciate the serendipity that today also happens to be National Meteor Watch Day. Now you might say, how do these things coincide? Well, you see, when a meteor or a shooting star, as us faraway dreamers have come to know them, takes a ride into our atmosphere, if you look close, there are clear colors. What would fashion or a wish be without a little spectral accentuation indeed? I will read from the day of official declaration of this day. The shades that come our way, if we're really looking up with that desire strumming our chest strings, bringing awe, <laughs> bringing awe are in fact <laughs> chemical colors. The chemical composition and the spread of the meteoroid will cause different hues to come to the light. Possible colors and elements producing them include orange yellow from sodium, yellow yellow from iron, blue green like me from copper, purple is potassium, red is silicate. Isn't that great? Chemicals and magic? A miracle's always abound if you can snag it. 
but when you need a hit of new fabric in the bag, make sure you don't just base it on some hashtag or internet braggart. Hold up that wrap skirt, commune with that neon jumpsuit you've tuned into, and ask it if it needs you or you it. Don't just rip apart the sail rack. Track your inner emotions as you hold the item up. Decide if it's just stuff or would it be tough to leave it without it? <laughs> or would it be tough to leave without it? Don't doubt this superpower. I don't have another jacket. <laughs> don't doubt this superpower. A good outfit can be as magic as a meteor shower. You just gotta find that glamour that's supposed to be yours. Take visual tours of the human experience by witnessing the way that we dress is often how we express the inexpressible. Become unrepressed and more full as your true, true beaming through selves. So delve into that basement trunk. That who'd have thunk a treasure like this would be so far off the grid type corner. Shop as your kid self. Climb up to pull those silver fringe boots from the top shelf. It's good for your health to work it, to work it. When you got that perfect O-O-T-D, you cannot sit it out. <laughs> so we did a lot there, that was a lot. So I'll take this, you, can I, can I show my, my favorite? Oh my God, it's Hammy, it's Hammy. I'm his biggest fan and his hammager. I like to promote his budding career at Hammy Famstagram, y'all. He's the most fashionable and wonderful pup that you will ever come to know. So we're gonna leave these fashionistas and we're gonna end it on this really cool sculpture. But I just wanted to tell you some of the things they said on the National Day of site. Um, that a list of all meteor shower dates, as well as a guide to successfully watching them, can be found on earthsky.org. I think it's a dot org earthsky dot something one of the dots um and then they say a little more about oot ootd day outfit of the day day um it gives us an opportunity to express ourselves fully and document our personal style by sharing our outfit of the day as you can see i had several but i wanted to show this cool guy because he's very like he's just saying to me be yourself be yourself, children. Just be yourself. And I know that's a like sign that people hang above their couches. Just be you, but it's harder to do than they uh, they translate through. It's, it's harder than we think it is. So it says, fashion and self-expression both play a role in self-confidence and self-shining. I love that. Take a few extra minutes getting ready today. Show something that reflects your outstanding style and put on the perfect smile before taking a selfie. Oh yeah, you know I'll be doing a lot of that later. <laughs> um, let the world know just how much better your day is going to be when you have the perfect OOTD. Uh, it says how to observe the day. You can, uh, you don't have to shop. Shopping is not required, but it's not frowned upon either. <laughs> You can shop your closet, your friend's closet. I did, this is my best friend's jacket and I've always wanted to wear it and I love it. And it makes me feel like I'm really cool in the 70s on a really cool velvet couch being like, I'm cool. Um, so yeah, shop your closet, a friend's closet or take a little spree to celebrate being you. I love that. Either way, flex your fashion sense. Uh, uh, that's it. Flex your personality traits and have fun because there's no pressure to be perfect. Just be fabulous. Follow these great tips. Create a uniform accentuating your favorite features to develop your personal style. This will become your go-to style. <laughs> and add accessories of different colors and textures. Smile, <laughs> that's the biggest tip. And there's a quote that says, when you have a great outfit on, your day is that much better. And in my opinion, you should honor that feeling with an OOTD every day. So if you're feeling your look, post it. You know, you know me in social media, we go way back. So anyway, um, it was first celebrated in 2018. You'd think that we'd get worshiping fashion sooner than that. We're gonna go find shade. I'm gonna say, 
goodbye to my friend who looks cool from every single angle. Um, oh, God, he feels like butter from a heavenly universe. That's like marble butter. Okay, thanks for being fashionable with me. This is the coolest guy I know. I'm out.